All right, Ord Ibana. Let me tell you something about this map. Let me drink it a little bit extra here. Let me tell you something about this map. Fall and you die. It's like Cloud City on Bespin, but without any OSHA. I've heard things about this place. We're going to face off against Karen versus the manager here. What's up guys and welcome back to Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Today we will be doing the semi-pro racing circuit. So let's go ahead and pick our pod. Alright, as you can see the Bunta training course as well as the entire amateur pod racing circuit is complete. And today we'll be starting with the semi-pro pod racing circuit starting on my personal favorite with doors slamming in my face, Aqualaris. And naturally, we're badass, so we're going to be doing winner takes all here. And we're going to be racing against Shrunken Head Man. Now, last time, we did not upgrade the pod at all, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is pretty much absolutely vanilla, as basic as you can get. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill this thing out. So we have all the pit droids. We've already done that. So, let's see what kind of parts we can buy. You know what, I'm going to check the junkyard first. Uh, it's Aquilaris. So this will probably be helpful. That'll definitely be helpful. And... Eh, it's cheap. You're gonna lose unless you upgrade your pod racer, hmm. I think. Why is a plug three so much better? You know what? Let's see what's in here. Back again, huh? Okay, so really, I'm not terribly concerned about my top speed and acceleration because I'm going to be boosting most of the time. Yeah, no that's money. expensive. No um, no deal. Oh man, that's a much better part. Yeah, turning is important. Um, so traction is important as well. It's expensive. Uh, let me let me check and see what's in here again. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> he just does not care. It's a quad 32. I'll go ahead and pick that up. But like I said, I, I'm just really not concerned about my acceleration and top speed. Um, how much is this? A lot. All right, let's go ahead and roll with this. Let's go ahead and roll with what we got, and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, this place. It's like Camino, except it's not raining. You know, I have to say, again, I, I'm sure I've said this before, but it actually looks like a stadium full of people. And there was a huge jump in the capability of video games between 1999 and even, you know, like 2001, 2002. I mean, we're talking about Nintendo 64 graphics here, and this is just phenomenal. Oh yeah, here we go. Not for long. We're gonna punch it right out of here. Oh yeah, he's a little faster. It's gonna change quite rapidly. There's a little episode one um, thing right there. Oh, the this ramp didn't kill us this time. That's cool. Okay, so so far it's looking like the old map. No issues there. We're coming up on the doors of death here that aren't going to move the first time. That's so dirty, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what I expected. Anyway, but yeah, those little doors are so dirty. Oh, this is different. 
This is really different. There's a path here? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a path here. What did I just skip? What just happened? What just happened? I, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what I just skipped. Screw that ramp. I don't care about that ramp. But it didn't care about me. I am so glad I bought something for turning here. Oh, we're actually going around the stadium now. That's really cool. <coughs> uh oh. Alright. Punching in yet again. You know, we're not going very fast, I have to say. I have to remedy that with my next set of truggets. attention there. This is definitely more interesting than the first map. <sighs> well, at first I thought we were lapping people. I saw other guys on the uh, little mini-map there, but they're just going around the stadium. That's cool. Of course, you know, I've been playing this for five minutes and I'm just falling in love with this game all over again. Oh yeah. You just, that, that was so immersive. Just that air and nothing else going on, just, you know, sliding through the air. That's really cool. Um, I've actually thought about picking up Star Wars Starfighter, the original Starfighter with the little Naboo M1s. And I was wondering if it would be as immersive, because it really seems like, you know, the period from 99 to... I don't know, maybe about 2005 or 6 was really the heyday. I, I'm going to see what I missed back here, by the way. But it seems like that was really the, the heyday of LucasArts. They put out some of the highest quality stuff. You know? I mean, this game came out in 99, so it was competing with what? Like, Quake 3 Arena had to have been probably the most graphically impressive thing that this game was competing with. You know, and I mean, while these are wildly different games, I mean, just look at this. The immersion is there, you know? I mean, playing this alongside, like, San Francisco Rush and, you know, Super Mario, Mario 64 or whatever. I mean, this is just amazing. I mean, the fact that I'm having a ball playing it 20 years later should say something. And you again, I'm not paying attention. There we go. If I invest in nothing else, it's going to be a better coolant system. A little rusty, it's been like a month. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use the taunt. Let's go ahead and use the taunt. I forget which button it is. Not that button. I forget which button it is. I'm going to have to look that up. Not those buttons. It's a new nice. We'll use a little fixing here. You know, at, at first I thought that the semi-pro racing circuit would be a little long, so I would divide this into two parts, but honestly, I think as long as we just roll right through it, I think it'll be alright. It's just one part. If you guys like it, you like it, and you watch it, you know? I mean, I'm having a, a blast playing it. There's definitely no effort on my part. God, I love this game. You know what? Let's see if we can hit this little uh, shortcut again. What? What's in here? What's in here? Whoa, it's even shorter! What? Oh, man. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's go up here. <laughs> I really want to find out what that taunt is again. I mean, you guys have probably already heard all the taunts by now, but I just get a kick out of it. Hmm. 
I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, it looks dated when you're up close and personal with the wall, but in the cutscene, it just looks... Oh, wait. What is that? What is that? The red ship. You might be able to see it coming around. Yeah. That's the, uh... Oops. That's the, um, that's the ambassador ship from uh, episode one, the one that got shot in the face. It just, there's so many little tidbits in here, including the uh, little underwater explorer from Naboo. I wonder how that got on Aquilaris. There's so many little just Easter eggs. And, and there's so much to pay attention to and so much to take in. I mean, this game is just a rush of the best emotions, you know? That's all I can say to describe this game. It's a new lap record. It's a new lap record. And that's a great feeling, too. Let's see how we did. Who'd we win? Did we win Shrunken Head Man? I believe so. Well, that's another pod race. Uh, pod racer we won't be using. Oh man, we're going to the snow place. We're fighting off against uh, Goggle Man. Yeah, we need to do something about our top speed. Pretty good, no doubts of that, huh? <laughs> it's crappier now, but it's gonna be better later. <laughs> Laugh all you want, fuzzball. Look, he's not particularly fuzzy. It's so expensive. Good what do we got going on back. in here? Yeah, I definitely can't afford that thing. Uh, you know, we made it this far. I'll pick up that. Rotary. Oh, apparently mine's already better, okay. You know, we already got the rotary thing. Um, I'm gonna wait and save up for this thing, this what, plug 8. Yeah, that, that, that's the goal right there, because I'll be balling if I can get that. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right into Ando Prem. It's like we're in Tibet or something, <clears throat> with all the, the monks. That's something I found interesting about Star Wars, is that everything has such an obvious reference to something else. <clears throat> the current record holder for this journey, <clears throat> that's oh, That must be Goggle Man. Goggle Man with the, with the big red pod racer right there. Get out of my face. Yeet. I have no idea what to expect on this map. Absolutely no idea. Oh, the cave already? Better slow down a little. Oh, uh oh. Oh, it's already. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna go this way. What? Are you kidding? Well, that justifies the fear of all those little icicles I had. I have to remember that. That third cave is dangerous. There's another cave. How many caves? Cave of Palooza here. Yeet. Nice. You know, it looks like that path goes uphill pretty steadily. I'm a little nervous about that. I'm trying to pay attention to the map here. I'm totally unfamiliar. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I knew it. Friggin' knew it. Let's go ahead and get down here. Ooh. And a jump. That's crazy. What is this? I, don't, I do not want to fall down there. It's probably okay, but I just do not want to fall down there. Come on. Okay. Okay. I literally have no idea what's going on. Oh, this is a sharp turn. Oof. Okay. Alright, we're doing okay so far. We only... You know, exploded in the smithereens one time. Well, that's from the uh, that's from the first race. That's cool. So I guess this map is almost over then. 
So that was a wild ride. Let's see if we can do a little better. And it's a new lap record, okay. See, it starts out all, you know, calm and simple like the other map, and it just lulls you into a false sense of security. And it's like, oh, here's a cave in your face. Oh, this cave is easy? I bet all the caves are easy, then you get fucked. You know, that left route goes somewhere completely different, just looking at the map. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> Won't be hitting that twice. Yeah, that other path, you see, it's still there on the map. I wonder where that goes. Even that little path. That path's not even on the map. And gear up for our big jump here. Punching it. Whoa. Okay. Here goes nothing. I'm just gonna yeet right down into it. Because I want to be able to boost over this jump. I don't know what's gonna happen if I don't boost over that. I've always liked how the pod racers hover. You know, just a couple feet off the ground. I know it's a fantasy game, but I just want to know what they came up with to say this is why they hover like that. Oops. Like I said, a little rusty, a little drunk, it'll be okay. It's a new lap record! It's a new lap record! I don't think we're gonna beat that. Unless we don't blow up, then we might beat that. No, this is a, this is a lot more fun and exciting than the last map. I'm gonna go to the left this time. I am committed. Absolutely committed. We are gonna go to the left. Right there. Right there. What is this? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> It's really narrow. And it, it spit me out here, okay. Well, that was a shortcut if I've ever seen one. Okay. Little snaking tunnel here. We meet again, that little face. It's almost like this is a roller coaster ride. They're, they're little visual clues, you know? When you see a very elaborate monk face like that, you know some shit's about to go down. Let me try not to catch on fire here. Apparently, so those paths just kind of fall down and then come back up. Okay. This is just bananas. And the music just really adds to the immersion here. And is it a new lap record? Yes, it is. Not dying makes a big difference. Nice, let's see who we won. Welcome to the party, goggle man, of people that I'm just gonna stick in the back corner. And let's see, we got goggle man, we got shrunken head man, we got Chernobyl dog man, and then we got Play-Doh man. Malastare. This place, if this isn't a jump of palooza, I don't know what is. And we're gonna be facing off against the creature from the Black Lagoon. And let's go ahead and see what we can pick up. Alright, that plug eight's still here. Still can't afford it. Maybe there's something in the junkyard. You break you buy, huh? You break you buy. <laughs> Such a prick. Yeah, there's like nothing decent for sale. Unless you upgrade your pod racer, I think. So cheap. 
bought it just because it's cheap and because we really need something. We could really use another, a better break too, but we're going to see if we can make do without it. Here goes nothing. Things look like the Xenomorphs, but with red eyes. And everything's like Stonehenge. What kind of world is this? <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing. This looks radically different. Yeah, I'm immediately regretting not buying better air brakes, but here goes nothing. At least our pod's slow. I say slow, but we're going 700 miles an hour here. I'm terrified to see what a maxed out pod can do. Oh, oh! I didn't even realize it was so narrow in here. It's like a, it's like a fun house of mirrors. Uh, I have to pay attention to that. Oh God, look at this turn! What is this? What is this? Watkins Glen? Oof! Lights in my face. What is even going on? It's hit? It's a new black what? Why? <laughs> There's no jumps at all. What is this? This is Malastare easy mode. This is what should have been in the uh, in the amateur circuit. What is this? All right, fun house. We're in the fun house. We're not in the fun house. Okay. Now we're in the fun house. Careful. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Okay, we survive. Oh, shit! You know, you pass go, you collect $200, somehow you still end up in jail. I can't explain it. You can't explain that. Nobody can explain that. Nice. Yeah, air brakes are a must. Absolute. I don't know if it's because I can't see. <laughs> or what. You would think, with all the poor lighting around here, going 700 miles per hour would be a poor decision. I got you now. I figured you out. Now I just have to survive the rest of the map. Ooh. That was incredibly lucky. Okay, see, I forgot that figured out now. Too bad it's already friggin' over. And that's the ball game. Well, that was a gaggle fuck of two and a half minutes. <laughs> Did we win anybody? No. Green Black Lagoon Man walks away. Alright, Ord Ibana. Let me tell you something about this map. Let me drink a little bit extra here. Let me tell you something about this map. Fall and you die. Like Cloud City on Bespin, but without any OSHA. I've heard things about this place. We're going to face off against Karen versus the manager here. Can we buy anything yet? I see we got some fancy new products here. How much is that stupid thing? I can afford it. Yes. We're going to have the best air brakes in the galaxy. I don't give a fuck. Let's wing it. Oh, new cutscene, new world. Those announcers just make the game completely. Look at this place. It's like Best been abandoned 30 years later. That's a recipe for success. I like the little hot air balloons and zeppelins. Friggin' zeppelin.
That was a really long cutscene, okay. The current record holder for this time is Wan Sandy. Ooh. Didn't that dude get blown up in the movie? Pretty sure he does. Okay, so we're out, you know, a million miles in the air. And so far it seems pretty straightforward. We got some guardrails keeping us from dying. It doesn't want to let me turn. Uh-oh, okay. It doesn't, it's resistant to let me turn for some reason. I, I can't explain it. I've heard this is what you have to worry about right here. These, you know, Golden Gate Bridges of Death. Punching it. Oof. Oof. Thank God for turning upgrades. Have we been going up? We have been going up. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oof. That wasn't horrible. What's with all these short maps? I thought this would be like a super long thing. Ow. I'm gonna call the developers 20 years later and say, Hey man, what's going on with all these short... I swear to God, I can't turn in here for some reason. Oof. Okay. What are those? What are they? What is that? This is actually going really fast. It's our 700 and we're going up. Oh. You know, always, uh, always keep your eyes on the roads, kids. Always keep your eye on the road, kids. They're right behind us. I need, to, I need to get my shit together. Punch it. Do it. Oof. Nice. A 700. Yes. Okay, we're far enough ahead to have a little bit of breathing room, but I, I don't understand why I can't turn in here. It's so weird. It's like artificial gravity or something. I want to know more about that. Quit blowing up so much, it can't be good. Alrighty. Comes a big one. Yeet. And that's the ball game. Again, short and brutal. <laughs> that seems to be the common theme of these maps. Let's see what happened. Oh, we got a free pod. I wouldn't call that free. I blew up, what, three times? Wait, I paid for that with blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, I'm actually going to take a break for a second and find out what the taunt button is, because now it's really bugging me. Alright, guys, I found out that the taunt button is right control and also E. So we'll definitely be taking advantage of that on Mongaza today, facing off against a... And a radiated pig here. You break or you buy, huh? I'm just gonna keep looking, you know, for a top speed thing that doesn't suck. They come here. How do they find How much is that thing? They come here. All my friggin' money? Okay. We really need to start speeding up because if we don't, we're gonna get overtaken. And let's just save up some money. Here goes nothing. My favorite place. We've all seen this one before. With our little woodpecker miners. The Mongaza Spice Mines. Second only to Kessel in spice production. The air is thick with the I get a kick out of how reckless that is, it's just like burnt into the ground. <laughs> It has shocks and all kinds of stuff. It's just over-engineered to handle that just into the ground. It's like the Star Wars equivalent of one of those little grocery store scooters. 
I sincerely hope that this is not a short and brutal race. Punching it. So far it looks short and brutal, we're already going the other way. Oh no, this is different. Uh oh, pick a path, pick a path. Oh god, look at that map! What is going on with that map? It's like spaghetti. Here's one of our little excavator here. Oh, there's another one right here. This map is like spaghetti. Abrupt right turn, okay. I'm gonna go this way. Doesn't appear to matter. In fact, I think I picked a longer way. Remember, kids, not every path untraveled is better. May end up being a pretty long map. Ooh, we're at the airport again. Before this is all said and done, I'm gonna get a joystick. That way I can have nice little aesthetic, smooth movements for you guys. Look at this, we're just, you know, casually flying over hell here. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a jump. What is this place even? Oh, I don't like this. Claustrophobic. That's a jump. A mon gas a jump, that's new. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use it. Let's use it. <laughs> uh, RNG, you never fail me. Nice. Dude, what is that? Is that like a crashed plane? Just... Damn, boy! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I didn't. Dude, was I in the excavator? What, what is that? It's moving. It's friggin' moving in the whole thing. I have to keep that in mind. Also, pay attention to the map so I know which way to go. Really? That gaggle fuck is a new lap record? Here we go back into the wild red yonder like a map from Doom. You know what? Screw your spaghetti. I'm going down the middle, which is a bad idea. Again, the path least traveled, maybe not the best idea. Dude, what? What even happened? What was that? Did I blow up over a little mound? Sand? I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna punch it. When in doubt, go as fast as humanly possible. Or inhumanly possible in some of these racist cases. Can you imagine just the sheer wind force of going 700 miles per hour in an exposed cockpit? I wonder what the atmospheric density of Mongaz is. It's probably hot as fuck, no matter how, how dense it is. And there's no vapor cone on my pod racer. <laughs> Can you imagine being on Tatooine there's a fucking vapor cone on your pod racer? I'm transonic! Oh, yeah. Just, I, I don't trust being in here. Haven't died over here yet. The little lava sounds. Sounds like somebody's stirring macaroni and cheese. This music's kind of, kind of hit her. That's unfair. That's unfair. There's a vertical drop and you have to be going so slow in order to avoid that. That is not fair. Yeah, no shit, that wasn't a new lap record. What kind of mess was that? <laughs> you know? I'm not gonna redo it, but I feel like this was a total fail. I feel like, 
no, 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 no. You, you, aha! He didn't get me that time. I only had to blow up twice to figure that out. I feel like if any map were eligible for a do-over, it would be this one, just because of the sheer amount of mistakes and little cheap tricks there are. I would say that this map is on par with Uvo 4 as far as little trickery. You were my favorite map, Mongaza. What the hell happened? You notice... You don't hear all the little glub glub sounds that you hear on the little jump. So it's neat that they added that in. I swear this is the most disorienting place. Yeah, that little noise. Sounds like somebody's stirring something. Like really sauce heavy spaghetti or... Just soupy mac and cheese. The ton again. It's the same thing! Blech! I will never get old. No, no, no! I tried. See, a do-over would be boring because I wouldn't be careening into every other surface. That record. Yeah, we'll put out that fire a little bit later. It'll be okay. Did we at least get something for this? Yes, we did. Hello. We got... Oh, you know what? I had a little, like, Hot Wheels version of this guy. I swear I did. Cool. Alright, so we got Barunda. Barunda... Vaguely comes up in my memory banks. Like the closest thing to a Mario 64 map. Do we at least have enough money to upgrade something? You'll not find what is that? Anywhere, Block 5 you're thrust right. coil. That would be nuts. The Mag 6, what do I have now? Quad 44? But I have the best air brake in the game now, apparently, so that's cool. What's going on out here? I always thought air brakes were kind of a joke, but I definitely appreciate them now. That's worth it, because once that, how, how much? It's almost repaired, so it's not the best coolant thing, but it's pretty damn close. Yeah, Whippanyaga, we're going to pick that up. It's not... I, I think we've already kind of missed our opportunity to have the best pod. But it's definitely not going to be bad. It's going to allow us to finish the game, so... Surprised we don't see Lara Croft in this cutscene. I like how they live up there. They're like, screw that. <laughs> Eminent High Priestess Maya Faga has taken her place at the balcony. Hello. It's the most Aztec thing I've ever seen. Or Mayan or whatever. Again, it's very obvious the influence here. Everything's overrun with grunge. Nature grunge. Mother Nature's throw up. Look at that map. What is this loop? Well, oh, I'm going really fast. Oh. Okay. This is a curvy map for sure. Oof. All these little rickety wooden bridges. What is going on? And yeah, that one's fucked up. Whoa. 
That just kind of goes down. I wonder what happens if I go down there, if I blow up. There's another path. You know what I mean? This is like something from Mario 64 or something, isn't it? Like, what is that even? You have these little totem pole head things. You know what this is like? Mobile Rally Championship. An old obscure game that nobody probably remembers from 1998. <laughs> oh, is this a shortcut? It is a shortcut. Nice. Alright, I got tired of all those little squiggles. This puts Temple Run to shame. <laughs> Oof. Oh, too hard. Too hard against that wall. Let's taunt just into. Yeah, that sounds about right. Exhaust for brains. Oof. This thing can turn on a dime. I'm so glad I bought that upgrade. Thanks for the pillars in the middle of the track. The racing experience is really just friggin' crazy now. All the increased stats. You gotta be like on Adderall or cocaine in order to be really good at this. Alcohol just doesn't cut it. Oof. See what I mean? Not immune to that. I wanna, you know what, I'm gonna test the waters here. What? Okay, so it's sudden death. Loud and clear? Understood. I don't know what I expected. Pushing up little sand trails behind me. That's kind of cool, that little coast there. Well, that little coast there, that's cool. little turns though, seriously. It's like a rhythm you have to get into. Like I'm so scared of actually going into the turn at all that I end up hitting the inner wall. Yeah, I'm learning slowly but surely now that we're already over halfway through the list. I like that transition from being in the middle of the forest and god knows what to actually being in civilization. Like one rickety bridge and then all of a sudden you're in somewhere halfway decent. They clearly don't trim the vines here. Oh, come on. Slow and steady, slow and steady. They're not far behind me. The FPS took a drop there, I'm not sure why. Okay, what I learned today is do not go down there. Alright. Oops. Come on, punch it, punch it through the sand. Get to the sand. It's coarse, rough, and it gets everywhere. Get through it. Let me get closer to this water. Look at that. That's cool. Oof. Oof. These areas are a lot more lenient than the uh, than the concrete areas. <laughs> You know what, let's go around. I want to see what, what happens out here. Probably going to regret this. Look at this. Look, <laughs> look how crazy this is. Uh, that was a waste of time. This music is absolutely appropriate for this map because of how nuts it is. Oof. 
Okay. You're on yourself. I'm gonna taunt you back. <laughs> Perfect. Are we there yet? Almost. More loop. If I can do it without screwing up, it'll be okay. Yes! Haha! <laughs> that was the first lap the fastest. Uh, I know I'm gonna be seeing that place again. <laughs> uh, did we win anybody? Yes, we did. And it was certainly hard earned. Who did we win? Well, that's cool. His, uh, his little pod controller thing, his little cockpits on the front. Neat. We're already at the last race, Aquilaris. Here goes nothing. All right, we're going to be facing off against Venus Flytrap Man. How much money do we have? Look at that! Oh, can we do it? We can do it! We can do it! Yes! <laughs> Look at that! That's, that's just retarded fast. Oh man! Oh man! Look at that! Let's let's look at that again. Look at look at those stats. Look at those stats. This is just going to be the dumbest thing. Here goes nothing. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, they're starting us in the arena. And there was no cutscene. I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. Oh my god. We're cruising at over 600. That's eight. Oof. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I passed through that. Oh, there's another ramp. <laughs> what? How many ramps are there? Okay. They really like putting curves in here. Is this whole place just curves? Oh, there's that ship again. That's cool. Another one. What is with all these ramps? <laughs> no, this is Ramp of Palooza. Ow. So, so thankful that's not a wall there. Another one. And we have these little doors to contend with. Oh yeah. We are going so fast. Can I still do my little shortcut? Yes, I can. No, I'm too fast. I have become too powerful for the shortcut. Got to punch it and go through. This thing is just stupid fast. 900? <gasps> that escalated quickly. 900? 900? This is a long lap. It's a new lap record. Nice. Better be with the amount of top speed we have on this thing. That's one out of what, seven? Oof. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna concentrate here. All these little freaking curves. Oh, I need to fix it. Come on, fix it, fix it, fix it. Okay. I want to taunt these, uh, these corners here. There you go. Ow. It says I can go to the... Oh, there's like a... Now I can go down there. Apparently you can drop down. That's what that little other path is. And it comes out right there. What's happening? What the fuck just happened? 
Well, I'll be running into that on the third lap. <laughs> Whatever that was. Maybe it created an eighth ramp. <laughs> Another one. An eighth ramp. I have become too fast for the doors as well. You ever, you ever upgrade yourself so much you break the meta? Because I think that's what just happened here. See? I'm gonna... I'm gonna get that short owl. I'm gonna get that shortcut. We have become so fast, we have broken the meta of Aquilaris. Have to remember that. Do not boost in there at the very end. Alrighty, it's a new lap record. Hey. You crunch. That's such a nasty sound when you crash like that. Even though it's not harmful at all. That was a little harmful. Uh, this top speed thing may have been a slight mistake. I think it's so hard to control. It's just raw power. Okay. You know what? Let's go down here. This may actually be shorter. I think it is shorter. Did we just lapse? Oh no, they're up there. Cool. Okay, let's see what's going on with these doors. Okay, I made it that time. I got you again. It's that casual idling sound is just phenomenal. I, I cannot praise the sound design enough. Is that fish? The fish that got eaten and broken in half? No, 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 no. Oh. Saw it here. Saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I survived that. Oof. Good riddance with this semi-pro pod racing circuit. <laughs> That's a good way to sum it up, the amount of times I blew my own face off here. What'd we win? <clears throat> we got... I don't even know who that is. What is that? I don't know. Well, we're, it seems like we're gonna get an award now. Here we go. Pod racer in the galaxy. Anakin Skywalker. Visiting all those worlds just to end up going back to Tatooine and dealing with Watto's crap. <laughs> He seems really happy. I'd be I'd be afraid to do a backflip on that platform. And that's the semi-pro racing circuit, ladies and gentlemen. So if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing another episode. We'll be going through the galactic pod racing circuit and eventually the invitational. So stay tuned and thank you guys for your support.